In this lesson, we're going to be talking about ICMP, or the Internet Control Message Protocol. So the Internet Control Message Protocol is one of those protocols that's a helper protocol. It works in conjunction with IP and with the other protocols like TCP and UDP. And it's there to provide information about what's going on on the network. There are a couple of things that ICMP is useful for. One of them is to perform diagnostics and allow diagnostic messages to pass through the network. Another one is to perform error functions. So if something happens on the network, like there's congestion, for example, or if a system goes down, then ICMP is there to provide the messages going back to the originating system to let them know what's happening. On top of that, ICMP is, as I said, a helper protocol, so it doesn't have IP underneath it. It actually sits alongside IP in the protocol layers. You can see here the internet layer, we've got IP and we've got ICMP. ICMP really sits at the internet layer and it sits alongside IP. If you open up an ICMP message in a packet capture tool like Wireshark, you won't actually see any IP headers. All you'll see is ICMP. There will be no IP at all. So you'll go straight from the layer two header, which would be ethernet right up to ICMP and there would be nothing else. As I said, ICMP is really useful for diagnostics, it's useful for error messages, it helps in things like determining whether a system is up or determining how far away a system is. And we'll look at uses of those types of ICMP messages in the coming lessons.